Tommy Nordpol, live in Norway. Today I want to share with you some of my techniques that I use when I go around the Oslo and try to photograph. Maybe a few of them gonna help you to take your next photograph. Like many of my days, I supposed to do something totally different today, but here we are in the center of Oslo. When I walk around the Oslo, I like to dive deep in these little corners. They have something from the old days, some magical charm. Especially when I feel a little bit uninspired, these techniques help me to like get another perspective at things and also like put me in action to really get that photographs. Some days I really like to play with the reflections. That time of the year you can find reflections basically everywhere because we have a lot of water, ice and glass. And if you get your camera very low to these water puddles, you can get another perspective of the things. And also if you want to have some people in your shots, you don't have to stick the camera in the front of their faces. Another technique that I use, you can get to a busy place where nobody gonna pay attention to you. Every city usually has this big promenade, the main street. For us it's the Karl Johans in Oslo. take photographs over here usually people are gonna think that you are some kind of tourist or something like that and nobody gonna bother you using this big glass displays you can get amazing reflections and also you don't have to confront anyone if you are just photographing the window another sneaky photography technique is to shoot from your belly waist you set the settings on your camera and then you make sure your thumb is on the shutter button and then you are looking for a nice scene and try to act normal and when you find something interesting you just shoot it in this way you can stay incognito if you want it not always work but you know what i mean i discovered that one myself but if you put yourself behind the glass Nobody gonna pay attention to you taking the photographs. Plus you can get some of the reflections as well. Along the Karl Johans in Oslo, there's a lot of cafeterias and restaurants. And this brings me to another tip. You can go for a coffee or for a lunch, but make sure you sit close by the window and you have some busy street outside. Then you can find something really interesting photographs that you can take. Most of the time I just run and gun. I change the locations, I go from the place to place, and if I find something interesting, I just try to take a photo. And then I switch the location so I don't try to stay too long in one place. You can visit the Oslo city center so many times and always you're gonna find it different. There's different people, different situations. Looking for hidden interesting places, that's definitely an under tip. I'm here for a while trying to record this video and there's some lady smoking a cigarette over there. Let's try to take a photograph of that. And she's gone, but maybe I get one good photograph at least. And Oslo is so huge and so different that you can have a lot of different situations. Every day, if you look carefully, you're gonna find a lot of interesting photographs for you. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. If you found this video useful or interesting, you can subscribe. If you learned something, that's good for you. 
maybe you can have more opportunities in your next photo shoot around the city. Until then, see you in the next one. That was quite a trip. I think we got all of it today. And my battery died. Bonus tip for today, always take extra batteries with you or 